Yo people, how you doing today? I hope you're blessed today. I got another video. This is one of my favourite topics close to my heart. It's all about books and not just books or a book in particular, but why you should read and why you should read if you're someone that's trying to make a lot of money or if you're trying to be happy or why in general do people read books? Because if you're someone who reads books, you're most likely a prolific reader. I'm saying that's a, if you don't know what that meant, that's what I'm saying, read books. <laughs> nah, I'm joking, I'm joking. But yeah, if you read books or someone who's a reader generally reads as much as possible and probably find that they don't read enough still. But those who don't read probably look like, wow, you've read a lot of books. Like, let me just, looking on my floor, on my floor, there's six books. There's four books over there. Those are just random books. Those are not even my main books. And I've he skimmed through most of them. I've... Uh, I've got most of my other books in the other room but essentially I've got a lot of books and there's still more books to read and there's basically there's never enough books and it's like there's never enough time to read all the books that are so it's like when people don't read it's, it's, it's crazy and I know some proper smart people that don't read some proper driven people that don't read and it's like let me just say this quite, quite plainly and directly if you're someone that's trying to be in the top one percent trying to earn a lot of money or be at the top of your field in general, it is a non-negotiable requirement that you are a reader. Like you must read books if you're trying to get to the top. Like it's non-negotiable. Like you can go read any habits or millionaire habits or this, they all read. It's, it's, it's a requirement, fundamentally. Like the fact that if you're listening to me, because for anything other than entertainment, like you feel like there's any kind of value, then you must read books. Do you know what I'm saying? Because books are just, to it books are people that have spent their entire lives or most of their lives dedicated to a single topic that they believe is valuable writing everything they know about it everything they've studied all the people they've talked about it, into one like condensed thing that you can read in a couple of weeks or days imagine that like i'm so young and there's i would say like i've got some like if i was to detail my whole life experience I could provide value to at least anyone that's my age or younger that would like wow if i told you everything i knew like wow i'd probably save you a lot of money years of mistakes of you know what i'm saying because i've done so much in so little time but these are people that are world-class performers they're top class scientists but blah 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 basically you're probably thinking well yeah what's that got to do with me do you know what i'm saying like what's that got to do with me like, what has that got to do with you? Why should you read books? Let's say, let's go through uh, some different types of characters and some different kind of books that they could read to achieve the goals they want in life. That's a perfect way. If someone, you're young, ambitious, you want to be a millionaire, you want to make a lot of money. <laughs> Sounds familiar. <laughs> what book should you read and why should you read? Okay, number one, you should read this because you probably don't understand anything about life, money, or business, really and truly. Like, if you're under the age of 20, I'm just going to say 25, and you know what I'm saying, if you're not running a successful, at least six-figure business, you probably don't understand as much as you think you do about business, life, money, relationships. Yeah, so if you're someone who's young trying to get rich, essentially, what you want to read about is personal finance in general. So this is just the different ways that you can save your money. So I'm going to throw out some quick books that I've read quickly. So, you know, you've got to start with your, your Rich Dad Poor Dad. I've got the book in there somewhere. Maybe I'll throw it in and edit if I'm not lazy. So you've got to start with your Rich Dad Poor Dad. That's like the beginner's level book. Now, when I was, I'm, I want to say 16. Mm, yeah, I want to say 16. That was the first book like I read. I can't even remember why. But I picked it up. I read it. I can't remember where I got it from, but I read it. No, tell a lie. Tell a lie. The first book I consumed was The Intelligent Investor on Audible. And that is uh, by Benjamin Graham, who worked with Warren Buffett. You know what I'm saying? It's all about investing, but the book is very verbose and it's very like in-depth, it's very technical. Like I was listening, I listened, I spent hours listening to it. I don't know if I actually gained any value. Maybe there's one tidbit in my head that will come when I've got like seven figures and I need to make a big decision, but the book was too verbose. It, it, wasn't, it wasn't gonna help me in my current day-to-day -day life. And that's the mistake some people read and why they think books are not valuable. Because they'll read something that doesn't, like, is valuable, sure that, objectively, yeah, this has got some good information. But for my life right here, right now, it does nothing. And that's not what you wanna do if you wanna start reading. You wanna read books that either, one of two things, and 
either they interest you and they're just interested like you find this very interesting like uh, I started a new book today and I was just reading it and the author's just got brilliant prose like he's just a really good writer like he, I was only reading the introduction I was like wow like I don't think a lot of this is relevant but they're so good of a writer I know there's value to be uh, found in the book and number two things that will directly benefit you right now so I'll give you one uh, perfect example this is the book that I just finished right now yeah take this in right now like this is the 5am club by Robin Sharma this book and I'm gonna say this uh, without exaggeration has changed my life so far and I only just finished it like within the last week like this book is this book is kind of what I've been looking for my whole life look I'm giving you a little shortcut you know what I'm saying like when I was like 13 i remember i used to walk around this is when i was just so stupid like, i was actually dumb i didn't know anything about the world i used to walk around and i just, just think man like i'm trying to live a proper efficient life like and there's things that there's mistakes i make and there's things i do wrong and you know what i'm saying there's things i don't know it's simple things sometimes it's like with like saving time or some things about like, making money it's like i wish there was a guy that would just like tell me all the things to live the most efficient life that's what i really thought like i was a kid walking around going to secondary school thinking I really wish there was a guy and I was like, fuck it, man. I'm, no one day I'm going to be rich. I'm going to write that guy. And I didn't know books existed. Like, uh, if someone had put a book, if someone had put this book into my hand when I was 13, I'd be Iman Gadzi right now. 21 year old, I'd be clear. You know what I'm saying? But now we figured it out. But basically, the 5 a.m. club, yeah? Own your morning, elevate your life, yeah? I'm going to make uh, a whole video on this, but I want to give it time because it was such a good book. So I want to. If you're, if you're a reader, just go ahead and pick that up. And if you're not a reader, wait for me to do the review and maybe you'll get you into reading. But yeah, this book, this book is the number two. Very, very practical. Very, very practical. It's, it's set in like a story, but the story kind of guides you through a journey. Like you're the reader and then it gives you all these actual practical life tips. It's called the 5am club. So no surprise, I've been waking up at 5am since I read that book, I've dramatically like changed it. Like I'm just so efficient. Like I've wasted time today and I've still had a very efficient day. So you know, another a book like that is Atomic Habits. I've mentioned that before. Just books that you'll read, like you'll read and that day you'll be able to change what you were doing in that week or next week. Those are the books that are invaluable. And some of the books are just like, mm, let me give a good example. One is Think and Grow Rich. Like Think and Grow Rich is a book, the first time I read it, I was listening to an audible actually, and I was I was walking. I was like, wow, wow, wow. You know what I'm saying? It's just a book that it's like, it's not something that I'll go to for a practical like change my week, but it's now a framework of where I base my life and how I think and how I interact with the world. Like it literally, I wouldn't say it changed my framework because I was very connected to what the book kind of preaches. I'd say it confirms it for me. So you know what I mean? It gives me a there's certain things I think about and someone can tell me something and I don't care what you say. Like, this. <laughs> like, like there's some things I believe about the world that doesn't matter what anyone says to me, it cannot be changed because I've got confirmation because of certain books. So certain books will give you a framework of life that you can operate from and some of them will just write down bare to the bones, practical, practical, practical. Another one is, I was in a bookstore the other day and I saw it, I, I didn't buy it because I thought it was a bit dead. But it was Matthew Walker, Why We Sleep, so I haven't read it, so apologies. It's like I didn't need to read a whole book on why we sleep. I just need to know how to get better sleep. Better sleep and there was a chapter at the end, so I skimmed that. So that's the value in that. But if you're interested in why we sleep, maybe, yeah, that's the book. So anyway, I you should read. Okay, so personal finance books are where I got started on my journey. So this is your rich dad, poor dad. This is your richest man in Babylon. This is your quote, kind of think and grow rich. So rich dad, poor dad just gave me some... It's like, Rich Dad Poor Dad, if you want Rich Dad Poor Dad in five seconds, um, buy assets, avoid liabilities. That's basically it, you know what I mean? But to some people, well, I can't even say some people, to most people, that's not common sense because most people didn't have financial literacy and we didn't have social media that's so prevalent where common things are uh, told to us. You know what I mean? The richest man in Babylon, there's a lot of things in there, but the two things are my main takeaway. This is from life experience. One of them from life experience, one of them from the book is... Always save 10% of your earnings. So whenever I get paid, whether it's um, a salary, uh, an invoice, a commission, or I just maybe I've just won a cheeky sign, whatever I make, 10% of it I'll put in another account. 
10 percent of it i'll put in another account so if i get paid a uh, rack today hopefully i do i've got some plans i'll take 100 pound and i'll put in another account and it's just like save 10 like basically the quick premise is it pay yourself first it's like the premises um all, we go in our life you know what i mean pay everyone pay the butcher we pay the supermarket we pay, pay the debt collector we pay this pay this and then at whatever we got at the end is what we give to ourselves the book says no <laughs> oh my days the book says when you get paid when you get money no matter what take 10 percent for you pay yourself first and that's actually <laughs> that's actually in rich dad poor dad as well pay yourself first so the idea of paying yourself first, very important tactics. And those small little savings can add up. Another one is, I don't know if this book actually says, but never borrow a lender pound. That's all. So I could make three full length future videos on about why you shouldn't borrow and lend money, man. I've, I've been through it. Listen, <laughs> don't borrow money. Don't lend money. Don't ask why. It will just save you a lot of uh, headache. On both sides, if you're a borrower, if you're a lender, I've been on both sides, not doing it again. Yeah, so those kind of things, yeah, they're like, you learn them and you use them as your framework. Like, you know what I'm saying? Going ahead in life, you will apply them and it's just, they'll just save you money. Like if you're someone that wants to make money, these are simple, like not borrowing or lending money can save you a lot of money, heartache, stress and relationships. Saving 10% of everything you own, bro, that money builds up. I had a look in that account the other day, I was like, rah, like, pfft there's bread in here like you know what i'm saying like i didn't i didn't even know i don't even look at it i just transfer 10 percent. i've also got i started investing in the index fund i don't know if this is youtube or one of the books but essentially you know what i'm saying i've given that's enough really go read books if you're trying to get money that i can't give you everything i'm not trying to give you the the all the books i'm reading i'm just trying to get you into what kind of person you are why you should read books your think and grow riches your as a man thinketh your I haven't read The Secret, but The Secret, um, The Strangest Secret, I've read that, um, The Greatest Salesman in the World, all of these books to just get your mind programmed to thinking in the correct way to operate. These are more esoteric and kind of, I don't think spiritual, but like people say spiritual books, but they're, they're in there. Like you need these books, like if you don't, like they're so, they're so standard, they're prerequisite knowledge for someone who needs to succeed in my eyes. So. Go read all those books. Finger grow rich. Cool. What else? Okay. Let's say you're. Let's say you're not trying to get money. Whatever. <laughs> let's say. Let's. Let's say you want to be happy, man. Let's say you just want to be happy. You want to have peace. I remember there was a book I read. Um, it was the Happiness Hypothesis. I got it on my Kindle. I never finished it, but I got deep into it to get the what I needed from it. And that's what books are sometimes. Sometimes you just need to pick up something, have a quick read. Wow. Touch my heart. I needed that. I'll give you a perfect example of that. This was, this was pandemic times, yeah? First one, first lockdown. I think I shaved my head or something. <sighs> I'm going mad. But the power of now, in it? I bought that book, yeah? I don't know, it just resonated with me. It's like, what I need it right now. All of Amazon came the next day. I opened the book, yeah? That's what I'm saying. Look, I opened the book. I got the book. I sat down on the table. I opened the book, yeah? It's just the first, I'm pretty sure the first line was, you are not your thoughts. Close the book and I said, that's all I, bro, I, saw, I dropped the book. I haven't read it since. That's all I needed. And I was gassed because obviously at the time, yeah, like my mind was just turbulent. Like my mind was turbulent. I was having all these crazy, unproductive, dangerous thoughts. Mine was just being in my house for weeks. No money's getting made. Nothing's getting done. My mind was not in a good position. And I was getting scared because I was experiencing all these scary, dangerous, like just ugly thoughts. And I was like, bro, like, is this, I was, was thinking the perfect thing I was thinking is this me like am I am I these am I these ugly thoughts and I said bro I said you are not your thoughts <sighs> I said phew and I ignored it like I think I maybe read the page but that's all I needed the book the book had me good like I, I don't need like bro that's what you need from home sometimes that's it bro sometimes you need a page 